I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about La Colectiva Femenil as a space um, and why we had to carve out this, this space within the institution um, is because we felt there was no space for us, whether it was in uh, Latino groups or in queer groups or in uh, female-centered groups. Um, there really was no place where this intersectionality could really take place, and so we made one. Um, so La Colectiva, um, just in brief, was formed over a series of talks, really, between each other, where we were just so frustrated with what was going on within our classes, within even within the Latino community, within the queer community, and we would just talk and talk for like four or five hours at a time. And um, really, that's how La Colectiva came to be. Um, so there was really no other space to, to discuss these microaggressions that were happening to us. Um, we are a group of students, uh, primarily undergraduate, uh, although we do have some nice graduate mentors every once in a while too. Um, but um, we're feminine, uh, queer, queer identified Chicanaos for the most part, who we use Chicanaos with the at symbol um, to really encompass, or uh, all genders and not just break it down to the gender binary. Um, we were formed and we educate one another uh, to better empower ourselves, but not only that, um, our communities, which is a really big focus of La Colectiva. Um, so as a space, we're a space for empowerment, but we're also a space for healing, um, which I believe Marlene will definitely talk about um, in, in uh, her presentation. Um, but I kind of want to jump into the structure of La Colectiva, the structure of um, other student organizations on campus, and how that's really a reflection of the structure of the university as a whole. Um, so as a feminine, uh, queer-identified space, we run into our share of setbacks, um, with not only within um, the institution um, as a white hetero patriarchal institution, but also within our own Latino and queer communities.